There we go. If that doesn't convince you, perhaps the uh, flying apartment complex behind you with the giant gun on it can uh, talk some sense into you. No guarantees, but, you know, I, th that is the offer. Okay, I think we've killed too many things to worry about Matt filling his get gauge this time around. So, how about the Sananju uh, gain a level? That sounds like fun. And a uh, beam rifle, I think, will be enough. Beam rifle is more than enough. Did it level? It leveled. All right. Are we... I hope we're in Neo Zeong territory already, but we'll see. And chance step one. I'll just take a swing at this with the axe. Axe. That was a kill. That was a most assured kill. Is anybody else closer to leveling than the Sananju? Let's take a look. Uh, Mars, I probably can't reach. Nope. Uh, Blue Destiny 3 is very close, but there's nothing left in its, uh, its area, so we'll just move in to uh, reinforce the Fenrirs. Actually, I think I might put Sayla back for a turn, because why not? I'm going to leave the carry base here. It's, a not, it's not in a bad position to deal with whatever reinforcements end up coming our way. So yeah, we'll just hold on that. Um, Jim Sniper has never killed anybody before. Ah, time for you to get your murder legs. Let's do this. Can't get close enough. Dang. What about... Okay, that is close enough. Let's do it. Not sure if you get XP that way or not, but we'll find out. 4,000, attack down. Not quite dead, so no XP either way. Can the Jesta do it? The Jesta can, in fact, do it. There we go. And we'll let the Sananju conserve its energy for whatever the next wave happens to be. Alright, so... Now, over to here. Um... Let's see. Uh, ah, Isaac Cannon could level soon. Let's get Lerore a couple of levels. That, or a couple of uh, kills. There's one. Good. Okay, he's now in super high... Uh, uh, super high, uh, high vigor. And now let's gun this person to death. Okay, how close are we to filling that get gauge? That's what I really want to know. He's got very close and he's got one more chance step. Let's have... For one thing, let's uh, cut them off from getting any closer to the HLV. For another thing... Oh, uh, let's, uh, let's let, uh, Lerore get one more. Crunch. Yeah, you're dead. There we go. Almost there. One more next turn and we're good. Meanwhile, let's, uh, let's see. That's a little closer to the HLV. Let's put a grenade out at that. And, okay, yeah, it is attached to the gun, so. 5,900 is not bad. And let's see if it can land its counterattack. I'm guessing no. Nope. Good. All right. Okay, now. Um... We're just gonna do what I did with the other thing and just give this a quick little uh, welcoming stab and wait for it to hopefully spit stuff at us. Um, Zeku will move forward for that purpose as well. What's still over here? Just a couple of trays and two gems, which I'm gonna let I'm gonna let stay just because I want to uh, I want Leroy to fill that get gauge before we do anything else. Um. Okay, speaking of, uh, let's let the Doga go up here. It'll throw out some funnels at this guy. 
And then I'm going to see... Oh, Vigor down, I guess, because it didn't kill? Oh, well. And then I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to uh, try and have uh, the goof get the kill so I can get the get gauge on the Fenrir goof. That was a decent, uh, decent bit of uh, health. Let's see. I... Nah, I'm going to hold off because... You know, I could do the obvious thing. Okay, it it already it this one doesn't have gems. This one doesn't. Okay, I can kill the the mini trays on the sides without issue. This one, that one has gems I wanted to spit out. So, but these other guys, they're dead meat. So let's uh, let's uh, let's kill them. Let's kill them a lot with the Mega Buster. Crunch. That should do it. No, not quite. Oh, and you took a hit. I am disappointed on many levels. Okay, let's see. I don't have anybody in that neighborhood who can do it. I don't have that. Um. Let's see if carry base can get the kill. It could use the points. That did it. All right. At the end, once I've moved everything possible on this turn, I will, uh... Okay, no levels, but it's something. But yeah, once I've uh, moved everything possible on this uh, turn, I will, uh... I will, uh... Words. I will words. I will save. Thank you, brain. Th those were the words I was trying to achieve. Crunch. Okay, so... Let me just check, uh... Yep, okay, well, you're pure in a Banshee, Chow. Let's see what the... Oops, it's a little too close. Let's see what the Armed Armor DE looks like. Let's see. Beam Magnum has more power and piercing, but I want to see the Armed Armor. Alright, do it. It is... A hey, big beam gun and a shield. Nice. That was plenty enough. That's good. Well, I'm probably going to have the uh, Norn chance to step down and kill the other ship, because may as well. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see the beam magnum. I may have to run this thing back to white base after all this, because I am sure burning through a lot of energy. Pinpoint attack. This one mobile suit has almost as many hit points as you do. It now has many, many more hit points than you do. There we go. Now, final chance step. Yeah, I've used up a lot of energy. Let's move back towards white base in case whatever's next is bad news. I'm going to move the Dom just to uh, menace that gym so it does not step any closer to the uh, HLV. I'm going to do similarly with these Zakus. However, I'm going to have this Zaku attack that uh, gym command. Since it has bonus range, I think it can do it from out of its range. It can. Do your best. Nope. Okay. Um, I guess I'll try heat rotting this and see if he survives. He should survive. Unfortunately, I think it will too, but, you know, something to do next turn. Keep me busy. Ooh, like keeping him alive. That's something to do next turn. Um... Yeah, nobody else to sortie, so this we're it. Guess I can start moving Sananju back that way for now, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to save, because in, in case I have done something dumb, if I have done something dumb, I want an option to, or an opportunity to fix it, so let's save now. And yeah, it is, uh, ah, it is a thing. So, I'm just glad I got time to record. Hope everybody here in uh, 
North America, well, in the United States specifically, because Canada has its own Thanksgiving in October. Hope everybody in America had its own, uh, had their, had a good Thanksgiving. And let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. Oh, they are just not kidding around, are they? Well, dodge. I want your gems, buddy. Oh no, I see what it's going to do. I wonder if I fail the precious moments by uh, if it because it gets to attack the HLV. If so, so. Well, if so, I... Okay, let's see. I'll check after this round and see if that counts as a failure. Yeah, it's in critical. Okay. Nope. If it counts as a failure of the uh, main objective, I'll just have the uh, Deep Striker counter that thing into the dirt and give up those three gym commands. Okay, you could try dodging the attacks. That's That's a thing you can do. Guard this one, though. Good idea. There we go. Survive, please. Alright, what's next? Today's not my day to die. Well, it sure is a lot of people, so hopefully you're not one of them. Crunch. No! You literally missed the broadside of the barn, and it hit you back. That's got to be embarrassing. Okay, now. The countdown is continuing. Conditions. Loss conditions? No. Um, event conditions. Okay, yeah, that does count as a fail, so we're going to load that turn. And we're going to do it again, and we're going to give up on those three gym commands and let the, and kill, uh, kill that mini tray. None of them can fire from here. There's nobody left to sortie, I don't think. Can I get the white base in range of it? Bombardment, missiles, nope, I can't. There's nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to have to trust in the power of the Deep Striker, since that thing only has 8,400. If the Deep Strikers encounter range of it, we've got, we've got it. If not, I'll just have to do this again sometime. Do it. Fire. Oh. Oh, thank you. Beam Smart Gun, prepare to die. Oh, you actually hit the excess. Prepare to double die, you jerk. There. HLV's fine. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good die. Have both. Die a good day. That's probably a James Bond movie or, you know. Yeah, that's the one where he's working in a convenience store. Die a good day. Evade. Um, that's Laroar, who is out of energy, so he will have to uh, defend. Again, he has regen, so he should get the energy to uh, to make the kill in a second. Dodge, please. Good. Uh, guard, please. That's good. Okay, yeah. Let's see. And let's see. The RNG is probably different this time, but we'll try it anyway. Yep, they managed to hit carry base this time. But carry base still hit them back. Fair trade. Jim Grounds are holding still. That mini tray is about to feel my wrath. And let's see. Event conditions. Yep. Yeah, so... Yeah, protect all HLVs. So yeah, they cannot take a single point of damage if I want to get the special... Uh, special clear. Which I do. So... All right, Lurur. Please kill that jerk. If you kill that jerk, your get gauge will probably be full. If not, you'll be able to uh, chew through that other one, and then it will definitely be full. Get gauge filled. I have a, min a Midnight Fender Zaku. All right, well, then you are free to be killed by whoever I want, and you're Banshee Fodder. Bye. Okay. Level up. Level two. Have attack. It's now 3.33, so, uh, you know, not a, not a bad uh, number to have. You know, if you, can, if you can get your attack rating up to a half Satan, you're, you're in good shape. 
Okay. Um, let's see. We've killed everything at southern border. Uh, this gym command needs to die. Um, okay, but you know what else needs to die? You know what? Oh, I can't get close enough. Well, actually, how much does that take? 80. He has enough. He has enough now to fire the atomic bazooka twice. So, 15,000 damage and defense down. And... Pinpoint. Power 20,000. Overall hit, 28,000. Problem solved. Yeah, so I can't steal all the gems in creation. That's fine. I won't pretend it's not disappointing, but it's fine. Let's see... I guess I'll keep trying to fill the get gauge. We do have another phase to this, so I should have another chance. Mudrock hasn't even shown up yet, so... Good, he's about a third of the way there, so... We'll... Let's see, I think I'm going to start working my way back towards carry base here. Let's see what the diffuse beam cannon looks like. We're out of large to anti at the moment, so we'll just see how it, how it looks. Okay, yeah, so it has a uh, prototype of the uh, uh, Sazabee's uh, beam navel, too. Neat. Do your best. Alright. And... There we go. And let's see what we got. Alright, I guess I'll give that to... Uh, Give that to Mr. Murder's Goof, too. And that should get him to about half. Yeah, so... Is that everything? Let's see. No, there's that gym command. Can he get down there? He can! So, yep. He's gonna make a clean murder sweep of the, uh, this side of the board, basically. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to leave everybody pretty much where they are because we should have chances to intercept pretty much anything that will come our way. But I'm pretty sure we've killed everything on the board. One gym ground. Okay, well, um, I'm going to save and then have... Uh, uh, then have Mark do absolutely nothing because he has no energy. I'm going to save and then have the uh, full armor Kyaku Kai do it. And I'm perfectly willing to save over this. I think it's in a good spot, so we'll go with it. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, I'm almost out of energy on this thing, too. Let's see if it can actually muster the power to kill. Not quite, so that one... Unless I can pull somebody over from somewhere. Yeah, he does not have the energy. Um, he does not have any abilities to uh, renew his energy. Nope. Okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, unless... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I just saved, so it's safe to try and do something dumb here. Sayla can... No, Sayla can't get close enough either. Dang. Well, I'll put her, I'll put her on the board anyway. Nobody down there can get any closer... I should put the Sananju back in, ba uh, back in ship, though, because it's only got 26 energy. Let's see, BD's okay, Jim Sniper's uh, all right-ish, uh, Jest is fine, Marasai's good, I'll m put it over here for a little more spaced out coverage. Isaac Cannon can take a couple of steps up. I'm going to pull the Fenrir's back. Because they're, they're kind of the biggest issue here, so... And I'm going to leave the Deep Striker and the XS up there. No, I guess the XS has to come back. Because it is out of energy. So I will uh, 
I will let it get to the ship, and then uh, next turn we'll be good. Okay, next turn. Uh, I'm out of energy, so nothing I can do. Actually, there is something I can do. One turn left. Almost done. Okay, well, um, there is something I can do. Eh, I'll give it to Sailor, but I could purge the armor. Um, actually, I'm gonna give it to Murder Goof because I want to get mur the, uh, the right to produce. I want to get production rights. So, if I want to get his likeness rights, I have to let him, you know, kill as many people as he wants. Almost there. And that's it. That is the whole that is the whole thing. How's the doga? It's low on uh it's low on energy too. Let's just Yeah, let's just move all the low energy people back towards the ship. Yeah, I think we're good on this side. Let me check energy levels here. Isaac Cannon's fine. Banshee couldn't hurt to head back to a white base, honestly. Zulu's fine, Akzaku's fine, Zekuzwa is fine, Gogug Marine, good. Schneid, it can get there, let's put it in for this round. Deep Striker, of course, is all, uh, for my ship's master, so it regenerates. And... Excess is safely aboard where it can get uh, health back, so... Yeah, we're looking good. We've got a decent uh, pile of units here. Uh, Mark's GPO2 will also regenerate. Not fast enough to use a lot of really big attacks, but it will regenerate. So, yeah. Pull the goof back a little bit. We don't know where the next phase is going to uh, pop up, so one more save. And then we'll see what we get. I'm hoping that the second phase isn't that long, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Because this is probably... If it gets much longer, this is probably going to be two episodes. Also, just, you know, for ease of recording time, it may be two episodes, frankly. We'll see what we do. Let's go. Alright. That's it. Historic moments. We did it. They did not lay a finger on those things. 10,000 points. And they are taking off for space. Never to return. And... That is, uh, that is it for Zeon's Earth Occupation. Looks like one made it up. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, hey! Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting getting him. Oh, well, I guess I'm not filming his get gauge this time. Renzi was hit. He made it out okay. Oh, well. Where'd that attack come from? And is that... Leroar? Yep. He's gone too, so I'm glad I filled his get gauge. Hope it counts. Um, and there is... I That's a heavy fork. That is a heavy fork. Large ship confirmed. It's huge, because we hit it from its blind spot. Uh, too late. Pops? Don't write me off yet, but I can't fight any more like this. Retreating. Okay. The north. That's where all the beams have been coming from. The north. And there's Mudrock. Good luck with that, Agar. Agar. I wonder if he has a sister. Okay, looks like they finished their modifications. Its cannons are stable enough to use. Large ship and a Gundam type. What the hell should we do? I say we leave this to the excess Gundam in the giant mobile armor. What? Is that going to be a uh, Schmeiser? Yes, it is. I won't let you have any more of my pilots. Commander? You can't pilot a mobile suit with your injuries. Don't worry, there's not much time left until the HLV launches. We need all the firepower we've got. Good thing I had that engineer's Zaku-1 modified. That's the new Federation mobile suit we ran into at Jaburo. Looks like its defects are fixed. What should we do, Commander? One HLV left for us to defend. We have to make sure it launches safely. We need to think differently about this one. Sure do. 
Let's assault that big ship together. It's the Federation Forces HQ. If we hit it hard enough, we can throw the Federation chain of command into confusion. It's the most effective tactic we've used against the Federation so far. The bigger the military unit, the more difficulty they will have recovering from the confusion of having their chain of command cut off. We'll buy time for the last HLV to launch. Makes sense. Yes, sir. Last HLV will take five turns to launch, so we're doing more of this. Okay, so what's our, uh... What's our mystery meat here? What do we get to keep? Okay, that's coming from the south. Jim Strikers! Neat! Okay, well, that should be a fairly simple matter, I think. Um, more so if I'd gotten the uh, Sananju to uh, uh, recovery sooner. I'll put the Doga in, uh, in Hawk, too. Hyakushiki, I'm going to move up. For one thing, yeah. Finalize, yeah. I'm going to move up. It's not going to take very long for... Even without... Even with uh, my best people in uh, in dock at the moment, fourteen thousand four seventy, I should be able to do that. So, not this turn, but just gonna move the Fenriers back so that they're not in any kind of danger. Okay, so yeah, a Jesta, a Marasai, and a Jim Sniper two walk into a bar. We should be good. Um, let's see. There is... There's Schmeitzer's Zaku 2 and... Uh, or Zaku 1, rather. So, I can get that if I, when I get the right to recruit him by just sticking him in a standard Zaku 1, so... I don't have to worry too much about filling that get gauge. Um... Time for the Banshee to come aboard, though, because there's only... There's only the North and the South, so we need to, uh... We need to deal with the north while my mobile suits down there deal with the uh, bonus drop-ins. Who is aboard? The XS and the Afrit Snyder are both aboard. I'm going to only move up a tiny bit so that I can uh, let everybody else uh, deal. Um... I don't know if there's any special bonuses for letting the correct people fight Aegir, but I can blow him out of the sky right now. And I think I'm going to. Let's watch this. Let's see, if there's anything aboard the fork, I may try and uh, buy time, but given the, their propensity for just moving past us, I don't know about that. Bye now. Yep, that is what Overkill looks like. They got me? Impossible! This is where it all ends. There's some tough customers. Okay, he retreated. I've got super high vigor, and I've got chance steps. Is there anything in this fork? There are Jim Sniper 2s in that fork. I would like to pick those up. Nothing in the, tra in the mini trays, though, so... I'm sure you realize what happens next. What happens next is... that. Level up for the Deep Striker. Good. This is definitely a thing that could use more energy. Let's see if I park right up against this thing's nose, if it'll be willing to take, uh, spit out gems. Okay. You're dead. 42,000 points worth of dead. I could probably take out the Heavy Fork in one hit, in all honesty. I just want to give it a chance to give us gems. Oh yeah, I can take out the Heavy Fork easy. Okay, so... Man, I, uh... That's kind of been the theme last couple of days uh, of uh, recording games. Killed Heavy Fork. Um, gonna move these folks in a little bit. Protect them from random shots, hopefully. Um, I'm, I should have left the Schneid on board for when these things get further down, but um, I don't really see that we're gonna have any trouble 
fighting this stuff all off in five turns. Even if they totally ignore the Deep Striker, which they are doing. Don't want a, a counter? I might kill you before you spit out your gems. Gems are spit! Dodge. Oh, that simplifies my life. Dodge. Yeah, you're not touching that thing. Here come the strikers. Good. So, okay, so the the uh, chain of events here. We're going to kill the striker commander. We're going to kill the... Uh... Oops, he's actually too close to snipe. Neat. Uh, we're going to kill the striker commander. We're going to kill the... Uh... We're going to kill the Heavy Fork. We're going to use that the Salvage skill to get uh, to pick up all our stuff. And then we're going to... Uh, and then we're going to finish off those last six gym commands. Dodged. Hmm. You can see this guy's going to give me some trouble. Yeah, I'm not really scared of a 100 mil machine gun. Okay, yeah, they actually remembered that the armored gym body type is armored. That's good. Uh, Marsai. Fidian rifle with piercing. Pierce that armor, please. Okay, yeah, when you have pier piercing, it just bypasses all special defense abilities, apparently. I'll take it. Hmm. You know? Exam system online. Exam system. Let's watch this. I'm pretty sure this will be a kill. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's taken care of. All right. Freeze down. Unit level up. Couple of levels, I believe. Yep. Okay. Attack. Energy. And there's nothing else for the for the uh, southbound crew to do. So uh, it is time for the deep striker to strike this thing deeply. I'm pretty sure this will be a kill. That was a kill. Okay, now, time to find somebody that has the salvage ability. Enemy HQ loss of functions confirmed. There's still some time before the HLV launches. All pilots look sharp. Alright, now. I believe he has it. Salvage! Two Jim Strikers, three Jim Sniper 2s. All mine. And now. All aboard... Oh, well, you can stay behind. You too. Slightly chagrined, because if I had not moved forward last turn, they'd probably all be aboard. No, not group attack. Skills. Um, return. Uh, who do I want aboard? I'll go with the Z-Zulu. There we go. Um, missiles? No. Mega particle cannon? Nope. If that won't reach, nothing will. Um, but the Banshee is ready to roll. So that should take out three of these. Without even blinking. One. Let's see, hopefully it'll go into unicorn mode, because once it does, it's going to have more, even more power and I think more weapons, so... Um, yes. More, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has beam tonfas now. But let's see what the armed armor D looks like uh, in in uh, uh, new type destroyer mode. Not unicorn mode. Unicorn mode is what it was in. Destroy mode. Extremely dead. Oh, yes. 
overkill. And I'll try the Tonfa on the more on the closer one. Level up. Good job, this. And now we're supercharged. Okay, yeah. Tonfa. I'm kind of sad it doesn't seem to have any uh, any melee uh, attacks with that big goofy claw. Oh well, Tonfa's work. Or does it not have the uh, claws, the Norn? Well, regardless, we have we have killed the thing. I don't think it'll level again, but I'd be happy if it did. Super critical, dead gym command. Nope, okay. Three gym commands between us and finishing this map, most likely. Uh, GPO2 is going to move down into the ship. Ship's heading up. I could launch a whole bunch of things. Sananju, I may as well wait until, uh, until a couple of turns. But I would like to intercept those and give them something to think about before they even get close to that HLD. I wouldn't be surprised if we get surprise, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if we get surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if, the, if there's an ambush, uh, in these last few turns. Moving down. Ignoring us. Yep, exam is over. That's fine. Three turns left. And... Move the ship up. Ah, uh, let's see. Can Brand get close enough? No, Brand can't. Uh, Sananju can't either. Okay, um... Let's see, Zeku's Y I think is close enough. It is not. Wait, yes. No, that's its map weapon that it can't use right now. Dang. Zizulu can't get close enough. Freet Schneid cannot get close enough, I don't think. Nope. I'll put it out anyway, and... Well, if that's the case, we'll... Banshee can't get close enough either. Dang. Deep Striker can. Boy, can it. Well. I hate to keep feeding it all the XP, but I also don't want those things to hit the HLV even once. Let's see. That's level 10. That's level 6. We'll go for the level 6. Boom. One more. I guess we'll Alice it. Oh no, I'll give it to I'll give it to the XS since it's right there. We'll start on a point of energy here. Yeah, XS gets that. Five beam cannons. Yep. There we go. That's it. As far as I know. Yep. Nothing left but friendlies. Okay. Alright, let's do it. And now we just have to sit here for those last two turns. Okay, I'm going to save right here in case it decides to throw another curveball at us. And then we will end this last turn and the stage, so... Looking like we'll have a couple of uh, good, like, 40-45 minute episodes out of this, so that's not bad. And there we go. Quest completed. Those who resist. I'm not sure what that quest is, but they'll tell us. It made it away safely. Alright, mission accomplished. All teams report. 
Red team, Ensign Lerore lost his machine, but we're all okay. Green team, one machine suffered major damage, Renzi has been rescued. Blue team here, Petty Officer Austin's machine took massive damage, but the pilot was rescued. Everyone's okay. Truly excellent work, all. What now? I don't think we can defend the space any longer. True. We could always surrender. No. I'm not finished yet. We could always surrender, but fighting until the bitter end is also part of our job description. Hurry to the underground dock. Viewcon is there waiting for us. Discard any machine that can't fight. As long as there's a battlefield and a friendly unit that needs us, the Corps will keep fighting. Roger that, sir. Okay. Okay. 24,000 for that. Goat was our top pilot. This was our second uh, best pilot, and Chappie was our third. So that's not really surprising. Okay. Now that all HLVs had escaped to space, the Midnight Fenrir Corps fled from California base. With its biggest base in North America lost, Xeon took the fight from Earth into space. For the Xeon troops remaining on Earth, the fighting would only grow increasingly desperate. But the Midnight Fenrir Corps did not give up. To defend their homeland and those they loved, the warriors who rallied Xeon's flag continued fighting and dying for their own ideals and reasons. The Fenrir Corps would never stop fighting as long as fellow Xeon soldiers continued the struggle. So these poor fools are still fighting on Earth like, what, 20 years later? Because there's Xeon remnants on Earth basically forever. So, yeah, that's kind of sad, actually. Uh, better to get out to space and just get home. Uh, okay, let's see. Not long after, the Fender Corps was to reappear in the Libyan desert of North Africa. By launching a surprise attack on the largest supply base in North Africa, the Fender Corps was able to force a delay in the Federation's offensive. Alas, the Federation mobilized its forces to find the hidden base of the Fenrir Corps, surround it, and lay siege. All the while, a Balaku, Zeon's last line of defense in space, was collapsing. Eventually, the one-year war came to an end. Knowing this, Lieutenant Ager arrived in Libya for a final showdown with the Midnight Fenrir Corps. Do I have to do that now? So, the war has ended. But the Zeon forces refused to surrender. They refused to believe it, thinking it's some kind of conspiracy. So, what should we do? At this rate, we'll have to stay on the offensive. More people will die for a war that's already over. It's completely insane. Yeah, we'll have to send an envoy to convince them. An envoy? Probably necessary, yes. Be too dangerous now. Who would we send? Prepare an unarmed helicopter. I should be able to pilot it by myself. Are you planning on being the envoy? That's the plan. No one else is suited to the job. Based on the situation, they'll definitely listen. Why, Lieutenant? Do you know someone on the other side? Yes, I do. Our positions might have been different, but we were brothers in arms. Okay, if you say so. Okay, so... All right, new get information. Midnight uh, Fender Zaku 2. Okay, I can also now make the Heavy Fork and the Blanc, uh, Blanc Rival, Blanc Rival. I don't know which, but that is another Pegasus-class ship, so I'm going to take a look and see what it looks like. I can now, uh, I can now recruit Nikki, Charlotte, and Garrett. All right. Okay. And... Got the Xeon Cross, which double ace point earns. Alright. Okay, so, first things first, and first thing is to save. And... Once we've done that, we'll take a look at what we've got. And uh, I... If I have a Zaku one, or I can just buy one, I will probably, uh... I will probably recruit, uh, Garrett just so I can have his fancy Zaku one. Okay. And... Alright. 
and we'll take a look and see if anything uh, we've uh, anything we've done is uh, you know is good is good to upgrade. Organization. Okay. Um. Manage units. Uh, develop. Okay. Uh. First off. Let's see. You got to figure out what we did take with us. I know what the excess can be, and I'm not going to change it. Psycho Mark III was not along this time. Fried Schneid didn't do much, but it can become a camphor, and I'm down for that. So let's do it. Let's camp. There we go. All right, that's done. That's one of the last things along that design tree I had not had. Deep Striker is going to stay a Deep Striker. Sinanju needs level 8 to become the Neo Zeong. Two more levels. I'm thinking what I'll do is finally turn this into a Gerbera Tetra and give the Neo Zeong to, uh, uh, to Mark. So I think that'll work. Blue Destiny 3 can become... Uh, Gundam Ground type, which we haven't had. Blue Destiny 1 or 2. I guess I'll leave it alone for now. Zeku's Y wasn't very interesting either, as I recall. Jesta can become a Jesta Cannon or a new Gundam MPT. Nothing fascinating there. Nothing new, anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, full Armor Kyakushiki can, at level 5 can become, I think, a Double Zeta, which I will probably do. Um, but it's only a couple levels shy of that now. Akzaku has its full uh, uh, tree laid out. Sailus does. Uh, Sailus Heavy Gundam does too. Gun Cannon Detector might make it into a Methus one day. I've apparently had a Methus before and I forgot. Uh, nothing new there. Uh, let's see. Hyzak Cannon didn't do much. It can't become anything new. Gogug Marine can't also can't become anything new. Uh, White Dingo Gun Cannon MPT didn't come along. Just a Cannon, I don't think, came along. Banshee Norn can become Full Armor Double Zeta, New Gundam Heavy Weapons. Uh, not sure. And Sinanju, uh, Sinanju Stein. Or no, Full Armor Gundam Unicorn. Um, I'm not sure. That might be... That might be another, uh, Unicorn variant. Might be something else. I'll try and find out soon. Let's see, nothing else uh, down here. The Haro does eventually have a, uh, another form. It becomes a Psycho Haro at level 20. Uh, let's see. And there's a bunch of DLC stuff that you, I don't think you can really do anything with, most of it. Okay, kind of. It does all seem to have its own development tree now that I look at it. That's good. All right, now. So I've made all the changes I want to make right now. Let's see if anything new comes up in design. Nope. It would say all designs if so, so we're good on that. Um, let's manage characters. Oh, wait. First, I don't have a Zaku one. Can I buy one? Where is the... I guess that's under units. Manage units. Uh, produce. Yeah. Mobile suit. Zaku one should not be difficult to find, I don't think. Assuming I have a straight-up Zaku-1 and not like a Zaku-1 sniper or whatever. Okay, I've got the Fenrir and the Marcosius Zaku-2s. I don't have a normal Zaku-2 yet. I'll have to correct that at some point. Okay, do I not have the right to... I don't have the ability to make Zaku-1s yet. I'm going to have to go back and get that. Um, how? I'm... I guess... I'm going to make a Midnight Fenrir Zaku. I'm going to see if uh, putting Schmitzer in that does anything special. Also, I want to look at the Blanc Rival. It is... Okay. Oh, wow. I wish I could take those onto Earth or I'd uh, get them. But, uh... Okay, so 200,000. It can do space in midair. Um, where's White... White base doesn't show up because you can only make one of it. Uh, it does seem to be the best thing that can go to space and midair, though. So, well, I think that'll be my fifth, my fourth ship. And next time I get the ability to make some really good, like Pegasus class ship, I will, uh, I will, uh, 
go ahead and uh, do that. So, uh, you know, replace probably the Zanzibar with a better ship. Pegasus class, Nargama, whatever. So, yeah, we'll buy the Blanc Rival. And that will become the basis of Team 4 next time. Um, let's see, mobile suits. Uh, yeah, I bought that. I wanted to get... Oh, yeah, also, let me see. Okay, uh... I need to take a quick look and see what uh, kind of... Uh... Okay, it is... Okay, it's the mid-air type. It's a Dodai. Yeah, we have a pair of space shackles. So, uh, yeah, I need... I need... I know it's dumb. I could get a better one, but I want them to match. So I'm going to get another modified Dodai, I guess. Or I could just take this off. Yeah, let's just let's just dismantle it and buy and make two of the best uh, subplate systems we can. And I'm going through the wrong menus time and again. Okay, manage. Yeah, that was right, Rob. Come on, subplate system. Get our. Uh, so I need a couple of uh, airborne things. So, oops. So that's probably going to be. Interesting. Those are both space types and have a range of nine. Um, okay, it looks like this base jabber. There's two different models. They're similar. They're both midair. Um, yeah, I had modified Dodai, which is midair. I guess I'll take a pair of Federation base jabbers, which should technically have uh, a weapon on them as you can see but I don't think you can use them in this okay so we've made a new ship we'll start crewing it and uh, and uh, uh, setting up group four next time but uh, let's see let me just before I forget uh, put these new uh, things on the on the uh, white base here and There we go. All right, yeah, and those are yeah, those are space. Those are midair. That's good. That's what I wanted. So, all right, that is gonna do it for. Uh, and we'll keep one of that, and one of that, and one of that, and sell the rest. And that is gonna do it for uh, this round of SD Gundam G Generation Genesis. This will probably be two episodes because uh, still still working on getting time to rub together for all this. So. That's going to do it for this week. So till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!